Hi, I am Sebastian from Arturia. In this tutorial, we will start covering some functionalities that are specific to the Mini Brute 2S. We will first talk about the ways to play and record on this synthesizer. The most striking difference between the Mini Brute 2 and the Mini Brute 2S is the pads who replace the 25 key keyboard. Those pads can be used in multiple ways that we will now discover. First, the pads can be used as a keyboard. In order to do that, the record button must be turned off. You get access to 13 notes from C to C, and two of the rightmost pads are used to change octaves. The pads are velocity and pressure sensitive. Velocity and pressure are pre-mapped to the amount of metalizer and the filter cutoff respectively. Of course, you can take the velocity and pressure CV outputs and connect them to anything you want. In real-time recording mode, the pads are also used as a keyboard. The difference is that what you play will be recorded in the sequence. To activate real-time recording, hold shift and press record. The record button should be blue and the sequencer will start playing. Any note I play now will replace the previous content found in the sequence. I can activate the metronome to help me while recording by holding shift and pressing the sync button. The pitch gate length, velocity and pressure that I play will be recorded in the sequence and played back. In step editing mode, the pads are used as step buttons for the sequencer. When this mode is active, the record button is red. When I press pads, I will activate or deactivate steps. Let's have a listen. In step recording mode, I can edit multiple aspects of my sequence separately. The pitch, the gate, the velocity, and the pressure. As we said before, those parameters are stored in the sequence when doing real-time recording. But sometimes a performance is not perfect, and in that case, it is important to be able to edit those values afterwards. I first need to select one of the parameters I want to edit. Let's start with pitch. Now, when I turn the encoders above the pads, I can change the pitch value of each step. Let's have a listen. I can also edit the gate length from very short all the way to tie. When notes are tied, the envelopes are not re-triggered between two steps. This can be used to create longer notes. Get to get mode. Velocity and pressure are edited just like pitch. I can set the value for each step and it will change the amplitude that is output on the CV outputs. As you can see, activating or deactivating steps apply to all four tracks. Pitch, gate, velocity and pressure. The four tracks simply let me edit different properties of the same notes. There are other ways to create sequences on the Mini Brut 2S. Those will be covered in the following videos. When record is off or in real-time recording mode, I can activate the arpeggiator with the ARP loop button. When step recording is on, this button activates the looper. The looper functionality will be covered in another video. Let's focus on the arpeggiator for now. So let's make sure record is off. Now when I press 
notes on the keyboard, it will arpeggiate them. I can set the R pattern by holding the R button and turning the tempo knob. There are various R patterns to choose from and they are shown on the display. For instance, let's use random. I can also record the arpeggio in the sequence by activating real-time recording, then pressing some notes. The sync button lets me choose whether I want to synchronize to the internal clock defined by the tempo encoder or with the USB, MIDI or analog external clock. So thank you for watching. The following video will be about the ways to edit a sequence on the Mini Root 2S. Thank <laughs> you.